Hello crafty friends, today I'm gonna share with you guys um, a tutorial. I'm gonna try to do my best because I'm not really good at explaining or doing tutorials. <clears throat> but um, a while ago I made a mini album for my son's teacher. And I made it into the shape of this bag. And some of you wanted to see a tutorial. <clears throat> um, and it's it was really simple and easy to do because I have bought this bag at Dollar Tree a while ago, like a year ago, because I wanted to make a mini album with this. But um, when I <clears throat> was doing my son's teacher album, I was gonna use this and just cover it with paper. But then I said, no, because in the future, I might want to do another one. So I saved this as a template. And this is a gift bag. Like this. It is a really cute gift bag. So you can give to anyone. But I'm saving this as my template, like I said. <coughs> and I'm going to show you how I did this. Uh, first, if if you ever find a bag that looks like this, you know, if you want to take out this and just trace around it, I mean, you can, but um, I just left it like that. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to trace around the, paper, the, the gift bag. And what I'm using, I'm using this thick cardboard um well, it's not cardboard or oh, yes it is um because <clears throat> as you guys know i saved the boxes from the shoes <clears throat> that we buy for me or my kids or my husband so you have to make sure that whatever you're using the cardboard or chipboard um, it has to be um sturdy and it has to be like able to fit the purse or well this is a huge box and it fits perfectly here so what I'm gonna do now is that I'm gonna be tracing this and it doesn't matter the outside what color it is because you're gonna cover it with your favorite paper pad that you um, want to use so I'm just gonna trace so there you go I have already traced the bag into my cardboard and <clears throat> now what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna cut this So as you can see, I have already cut um, the purse, and I used this. I bought it at um, Dollar Tree. Um, I, I think they still sell it, and it is meant for to cut the food, like fruit, vegetables. But I used it um, to cut my chipboard, cardboard, because it's glass, and yeah, I prefer that. So I already cut this one and for the other one, the back, I'm gonna use this one again and just trace it again and the other side of the shoe box, I'm gonna trace it again and As you can see, I already have the two pieces 
um, for the album, the front and the back, whatever you want to choose to go in the front and in the back, they're, they're the same. So here they are. This is how it looks. Since this is like the back, I'll make this the back and I'll make this the front. And what I do when I don't want to get confused or something, I um, but this is gonna this is like pretty easy because this is the front, the logo is here, this is the back. But when I do when it doesn't have like a logo or something, I just write in like the front and then like the back. That's what I do how you do so and what I did I also I use um, I sanded a little bit so it so it could be like smooth when I put my paper in there under and then what I'm gonna do now is um, the paper bag has this at the bottom of the bag like like this but in the inside so what I do is that on my son's album for her teacher my other album I use the same width um, to go here because I wanted it to be big you know I wanted it to be to have a lot of pages so in this one I'm not gonna use the same width because um, yeah, I'm I'm not just I'm not gonna use the same width, but I'm gonna use the same um, height because if you can see right there, my paper is gonna fit perfectly in there, and it's my paper is gonna be like this, so it's not gonna show. So once you stand your purse, it's just gonna show the purse, not the pages. So, and what I do, I use um, the remainings of the little flaps that come in the shoe box. Like, I'm probably going to use this one. Um, so, what I do is that I'll just trace here the same height right here. And see, it's just a little bit smaller, but that's okay. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to trace the same height and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I have already cut my piece right here. And it's already to be um, put together. I'm going to show you a little bit. There. That's how it should look. like that and someone asked me if I can put uh, the template so they can um, download it but unfortunately like I said I'm not really good with technology either but um yeah I don't know how to do that but they sell I mean gift boxes probably in all the stores Maybe you can find one, or what you can do is find an image from the computer. You know, just Google um, purses, images, and templates, and then just uh, print one, the size you want, and then just trace it. Um, that's sometimes what I do when I want something, you know. But um, in this case, I found this one, and so I'm keeping this as a template for me. But um, yeah, this is how it should look. And all, all we have to do now is put the background paper that we want. And the one that I want it to be black, the background. So, yeah, I want it to be black. So in the next video, I'm going to show you how I'm going to put this together. Because I need to get more black paper. This is not black. It's kind of like grayish. It might show black in the video. But it's not. So yeah. In the next video. I'm going to show you how um, I put this together. And 
yeah so hope you guys have liked my first video of how I'm doing the purse album and the paper pad that I'm gonna use is gonna be this one the get glam from recollections um, I bought it uh, Michaels and it was the hot buy papers and I believe my store still has like three left and I'm not sure I might get another one because I really love this paper collection and yeah but you can use whatever paper pad you want and I'm gonna use this and probably I'm gonna finish it all because I have made one already with this papers and I have this left and I have the scraps so yep, stay tuned for the second video. Bye!